B is the region in space, so that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 25. Well, if we think about it, that would be all the points on the inside of the sphere of radius 5 centered at the origin and on its surface. And we're supposed to also only think about the points where z is greater than or equal to 3. We're supposed to set up an integrated integral to evaluate this triple integral for some function, and we don't know the function, so we won't actually evaluate anything. But first, using the order dz dy dx, and secondly, using the order dy dz dx. And of course, any of these arrangements would be valid, so we're only doing two of the six possible examples we could do here. Here's the procedure I intend to follow. We're for first going to draw the region in space B. We're going to then think about the order of integration. It's in this step where we first identify that variable of integration. So if I want to integrate with respect to Z first, if I look at this, I'm going to need to project into the X, Y plane because the projection I want always lies in the plane of the last two variables. So I'm thinking about dz, dy, dx, the last two variables, y and x, so I'm in the yx or xy plane. I then draw a ray that is parallel to z, that first variable of integration, that's perpendicular to that projection r uh, that passes through b. So if the region R is below my region, I just go up from it perpendicular and through it, uh, there is a chance my uh, projection R lies in my region, and so I just need to have a ray that goes through either side of the region, but still perpendicular to that region. After I've done that, I'm going to follow the procedure I typically would for finding the limits of integration of a double integral. So let's start. So here we have x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 25, z is greater than or equal to 3, and we're supposed to draw the region B. So that first step, draw the region B, well, points inside of a sphere. And I've always found it easier to draw the sphere before I try to put in a coordinate system. So now that I have a sphere, I'm going to imagine the origin was in the middle. And here's my z-axis coming up and through the north pole, which is five units above the origin. And I'll just repeat that until I have all three axes. This will be the boring part of the video, and hopefully the only boring part of the video. All right. So all the points on the inside that are... Uh, Follow this inequality, but also I'm supposed to think about only the ones where z is greater than or equal to 3. Well, z equals 3, I'd get a plane. So I'm imagine a plane at z equals 3. And if I was to take the points above z equals 3 and below the plane, well, let's see. The plane would intersect my sphere in a little circle, and I'm looking for the points inside the sphere that are above that plane. So I'd get a little cap off the sphere. So now I'm going to try to draw just that much. So this is the circle I tried to draw in the plane z equals 3. And then I have the top part of the sphere. And let's see if I can do a little better than that. Not a great picture, but it'll work. So the z-axis coming straight out of there. Let's see, that would be z equals 3. This would be z equals 5. So 4 would be about there. Uh, 2 and 1 and the origin about there. Not really to scale, but that's okay. X-axis and a Y-axis. All right, well, there is my region B. That's the region I'm asked to integrate over. All right, so I've satisfied the first step here where I've drawn the region. Next, I'm supposed to project this into the xy plane. So I'm integrating with respect to z first. Well, this is where I just pretend that I, if I was to ignore z's, right, I'd see the shadow of that circle. And that's my favorite way of thinking of a projection, right? It's really what happens where I let z equals 3 and then plug it in. So I'll, I'll get a circle down here in the xy plane. All right, and that's the circle, x squared plus y squared plus 3 squared equals 25. Well, so that's x squared plus y squared 
equals 16. So this is actually a circle of radius 4. And I'm just going to go on and turn that into an inequality because the shadow would include all these points. And there's my region, R. B, my solid in space, R, the shadow below it in the xy plane. So here we've satisfied the second part. Now I'm supposed to draw a ray that is parallel to the variables, the variable that I want to integrate with respect to first and perpendicular to R. All right, so I need a ray that's perpendicular to R parallel to Z that passes through my region. So I'm just going to imagine my array starting here. It would come up and it would hit Z equals three and it would exit through the sphere. All right, so that tells me I need to think about the sphere on the outside, that surface, and I need to think about it as a z equals. So to take x squared and y squared away from both sides, take a square root, because I'm looking where the z's are positive, it would be the principal square root, and there is my top bound. I don't know what that was, 25 minus x squared all right, well, it's in this step that I found the bounds on Z. And it's a little early to start this, but it always feels nice to have part of the answer written down. I enter the region at Z equals three and I exit the region at Z equals 25 minus X squared minus Y squared. My function was called F, I don't know what it is. The first variable of integration is DZ. And then we still need to figure out what's going on with dy and dx in the y direction and the x direction, but we'll come back to that in just a second. From here, we're supposed to follow our procedure for functions on two variables using the region r. So now I'm going to reimagine r. I just want to see r. So I'm going to redraw it in an xy plane. Oriented the way I like to think about the xy plane though any picture would work. A circle of radius four. Well, this procedure is draw a ray parallel to the y-axis through my region. I have a bottom function and a top function. I know this is the circle x squared plus y squared equals 16. And so solving for y reveals the top function and the bottom function. Bottom function, top function, y equals the square root minus the square root of 16 minus x squared and y equals positive square root of 16 minus x squared. That lets me go on and fill in the next bounds for y. And then finally, I need bounds for the last variable, x, that contain the entire region r. Well, that would start at minus 4 and end at positive 4. So finally, I found all three sets of bounds. Now, this is all I can do for this one, because I don't know anything about my integrand. Now that we've found the bounds for this particular order of integration, let's approach the problem with the second order of integration we were asked about, dy, dz, dx. So I need to approach the problem the same way, going through the same procedure. So I'm going to start again by drawing the region in space B. This time I can shortcut some of the drawing because I know it's the region in space that's above the plane, z equals 3, but below the sphere. So it's this spherical cap. And so I can imagine my z-axis. I probably won't do such a good job drawing it, which probably concerning because I didn't do a real good job before, but here's my x-axis and my y-axis, and there's my region B in space. Now I'm supposed to project the region B into the plane that's spanned by the second two variables of integration, z and x. So I need to think about what this would look like in the x-z plane. Well, if I just think about my sphere in the x-z plane, it's where y equals zero, and so I'd get just a circle of radius five. So if I draw the whole thing, and since this inequality would be a solid circle of radius five, or it'd be a disk, 
Weird way to say that a minute ago. We'll just let that go. And I shade that in, but I also need to think about the points above the plane, z equals three, which would appear as a horizontal line. So I'm looking at this as my region R. Bounded below by z equals three, bounded above by the top part of my sphere. All right, in my diagram over here, it might be a little harder to see R, but it's just this region here, right? So it's like I've turned it around and flipped it down on the board. All right, so to find the first variable of integration, y, the bounds for the first variable of integration, I need to send a ray through the region B, perpendicular to that little half moon that's their region R, and parallel to y. So I would do that, and it would look like I had shot an arrow that went straight through that region there. And that kind of looks like it's in front, so we'll just try to fix that. There we go. So now I have that ray traveling in the direction of Y, making a right angle here, and it would go in this side of the sphere and out that side of the sphere. So I, I need to think about what the sphere looks like as a Y equals. Well, if I just take X squared and Z squared away from both sides, it would look like this. And then I'd have to take a square root and get a plus or minus. And so I have a minus where it's the minus y side and a plus where it's the plus side. And so I have a first bound and a second bound. So I could even go on and start setting up that triple integral. I go in where y is first 25 minus x squared minus z squared and out at 25 minus x squared minus z squared. My integrand is f of x, y, z. And I'm thinking about integrating in the order first dy and then dz dx. And we'll come back to this in a moment. But now we need to think about the or appropriate order of integration in the direction z and then x. And this is where I can focus in on the region r. Imagining a ray drawn through the region perpendicular to the z-axis. And here I see I would go in where z is equal to 3 and then exit through the top of this circle. Well, the blue circle is simply the circle 25 minus x squared. Right, because in the xz plane, the circle is x squared plus z squared equals 25, right? Y is zero, right? I'm right on that slice where Y is equal to zero. All right, so I have my second bounds of integration. I go in at Z equals three and out at the square root of 25 minus X squared. And now I need values of X that contain the whole region. And that's gonna make me know where these, the lines equals three intersects the circle x squared plus z squared equals 25. Well, I think we can probably guess what number that's going to be. On the left-hand side, I get a minus four. On the right-hand side, I get a positive four. And so here is that iterated integral the second way 